I learned how to dance slow at the ballet with another man. Coming out to me was just about the fact that I had the freedom to dance. For a black man to be free dancing was a taboo. They always talk about how the 60s was, was bad in the 70s, but we had a wonderful time. Maybe because we were young and underground. This was one of the few places in New York City where gay people could congregate and feel welcome. We had some incredible Saturday nights here, just incredible. Those were nights like the old school nights. We were not aware that the building was sold. How do you pay rent if you don't know who's the landlord, who's the owner? He would tell us not to worry about it. He had made plans to sell the building from underneath us. I want a special prayer. Lord God, we ask that you continue to, to bless the starlight, the staff, soften the hearts, Lord God, of those who would have this place be existing no more, Lord God. You need these type of places, just like you need churches. There's got to be more people involved in this. This is really a fight for our life. We as a community have taken on the process of landmarking the architecturally valuable. And there's a strong argument to be made. Our cultural landmarks are worthy of protection too. Starlight stays! Starlight stays! There should be 1,000 people on this corner. You know, before desegregation, 